Hello and welcome in Hoopers, much love. This video is about the future of jump shooting, where jump shooting might be in a hundred years, so you can be there, you can kind of skip some of the stuff that doesn't work and anticipate where it's going. Because if we think about where jump shooting was a hundred years ago, it was shit. Do you think we're at the final form today? Clearly not. In a hundred years, we're going to look back today as a lot of the shooters being shit. So how is it going to be different in the future compared to today? And I want to thank Pete Dunn, uh, one of you guys, for messaging me and sparking this idea, this conversation about how jump shooting is going to be different. And really the question is, okay, so say that rotational jump shooting adds power to your shot, it adds arc, it adds range. Rotational being moving your shoulder and your hip to the basket, right? Like, you know, shooting like that as opposed to being totally squared or totally tilted. If that is effective and adds range, then why do the main coaches not teach it? Well, first of all, there's a lag time, right? Coaches are generally teaching what they learned 20 years ago or 10 years ago, right? Even if it's happening right now. The rotational jump shot popular with Steph Curry, Kyle Korver, JJ Redick, it's already happening. Some cutting edge coaches, B-ball breakdown, started to point that out last year, that rotation is happening. So you just can't trust most coaches because they're stuck in the past and you don't even want to be in the present. You want to be looking into the future, right? Steph Curry is a guy who's in the future. He is where shooting is going to go. And if we look at really where it's going to be, here's the fundamental shift we're going to see happen. Right now, people are very mechanics oriented, right? Shot mechanics is good. I like that channel. And in general, like, what is the mechanics of Steph Curry? How can we copy his mechanics because he's the best shooter? However, if we don't fully understand why Steph shoots the way he shoots, then we are not going to be able to fully mimic him or even surpass him because eventually people will surpass him. He's not going to be the best shooter ever. And the way that we do it is shift from thinking about mechanics to thinking about physics, right? Mechanics are kind of how the body moves, or shooting mechanics. Physics, we think about how the ball needs to move against gravity in order to have the most arc, the most range, and the most accuracy. And so we're going to see a shift from people obsessing over mechanics to people really studying and focusing on physics so that they just base their mechanics around what works on that, right? That's the number one way that people it's going to change. So people are going to be real physics oriented and we're going to see that there's going to be more rotation in shots, there's going to be people are going to take bigger dips for more power and people are going to be shooting more accurately from further with more arc. Right? There's going to be 50% three point shooters who shoot from far. We're going to see that and they're going to really understand the physics of how it works. And that's number one. Number two a lot of shooters are going to get a better idea of the most efficient ways to practice. Right now, a lot of people just think that if they put in tons of work, that's plenty. But it's not about work, but efficiency of work. So in the future, people are really going to be studying the science of how learning happens and the fastest way to learn and st things like, yeah, basically just how the brain works. So it's going to get more scientific just because it has to and the future is this stuff's going to be become more simpler. So if you want to move into the future, if you want to understand the physics and you want to understand the fastest way to learn, you should check out our program, ebooks, efficient shooting, scientific strategy for shooting, right? Uh, we've got part one is on the physics and part two is on the training. This is something we put out as a limited test trial last year and now it is actually out, actually available and there's a link to that in the description. If you want to be in the future jump shooting you should definitely check it out. If you want to be stuck in the past uh, and not in the future and putting in more time and not having the arc range and accuracy you want, then you shouldn't check it out. So this is for those of you who want to learn. Um, and th for those of you who are looking at it and are like, I don't know how fun this is going to be. This is not a, necessarily a fun product. It's like a textbook and a, it's like two, one textbook and one mini textbook. But again, if you put in the time and effort, it will definitely, definitely be worth it and you will be on the cutting edge of where things are going. So, shooting science secrets, secrets of shooting science, check it out, links below, 
and um, look forward to seeing some of you on the inside of that. So take care.